I, I see him more as a threat than, than as a than as an asset. Now his believers, they believe in the a lot of them believe in the rapture. The time of the world's going to end in a couple of years, anyways. So um, he's just the person giving us some benefit to restore some things for ourselves, while before it all falls apart. I'm not of that attitude. I don't think the world's ending. I possibly for the people that think it's ending, but I, like too many hopes, too many dreams, too much of it. But more likely, if there's wars or difficulties, there's the people having to survive it, they're having to deal with harsher realities to take care of things. So we're not going into less controls in our life. But certainly, you have a very dramatic buildup of things. You can see Saturn has been playing it. He took responsibility, and he's been weighted down by it for less since he's been president. Just Saturn and the Uranus disruption of Neptune, to Uranus to Venus in 2017. And still, he's been delaying, delaying Saturn opposed to the Sun, and Saturn opposed to Mercury. Exactly what you need to delay the court case, delay the court case, delay the court case. The court case it'll, it can't make it worse than it was. You know, it'll, it's better to delay it. And that's the standard legal procedure of Saturn to the Mercury. As it gets into 29, there's not more delaying processes. But at the same time, there's not more attacking processes. So it could drift across this year. He may have looked like he succeeded, but not for long, like it was just yesterday, I think, the lady, the head of the Democrats or something said, it's not worth impeaching them. You know, it's it would make it look bad for the election year. So they may not, they may back off. And But this judgment's coming in very quickly as they start next year. This is nine months away. It'll come in quickly. Heavy repercussions of his financial attitude, even with his empires. You know, if something bad goes with China and the States, then if he has hotels there, they may be threatened. If something bad goes between Russia and the States, then his hotels or his bill of properties in Russia may get threatened. This is where this is, there could be a squeeze going on for who controls his loyalties or his finances. But um, the taking away of Trying to get money out of the military to build a wall. Any cannon can go over a wall, never mind missiles, never mind drones, never mind anything else. It's not really a smart defensive thing. You know, like he's pulling money away from the military for the wall. He's making a lot of enemies within the military because it's stopping pro wars and battles and elements and fought to maintain a free enterprise. Pretty much in the, in the in the world, and there he's moving himself from all those positions, letting down anybody that was with. Like they went into Afghanistan to help Afghanistan, and as soon as they started getting ahead, they pulled out, and anybody that was helping got murdered or assassinated when they left. Anyone that helped the states were considered traitors by the time they left, and they weren't defended. Horrible things. So he's still a wild card, but. The repercussions of what he's been doing are slowly and suddenly getting more and more real. And it may not catch him in the next nine months, but it's going to the minute you get into 2020. And that attitude is a very heavy toll. And it'd be hard to get past these things to pull off an election. He could lose a lot of money trying to buy an election that you may not be able to get anyways. But when he's unhappy, He's going to get more fanatical and think he's going to ride it next. He's going to push for the next thing, the next best thing, go for the next thing, go for the next thing, and not realize the base is being cut out from him. Even his own party could turn against him. Or expect things from him that he's not ready for. So this is, okay, this is a good one. It's not set in stone. I'm not at a point of saying it's exact. I'm showing you the transits that are, this is the time he's going, this, he's dancing to it. We can watch how he's danced. I've tried to relate it and best in my own ignorant way as I could. Like I said, I usually try not to think about him rather than be following everything that he's doing. But he certainly has come in and threatened, related, like in Canada, who wants to go to the States for a holiday or like it's changed our relations with the States and to Mexico. We try to sign a NAFTA deal, but we also have this, the imports and everything. Everything has been made more difficult and um, it's even we've even sided with the states to 
arrest the Chinese executive on their order. Well, how come we're policing for the states? Like, it just seemed against all common sense. So we're get, Canada probably will abide by and let, suck up with the states and lose our relationship to China. Big changes could happen. I mean, the China, Russia, Brazil, different countries could make an alignment, change the currency away from the dollar, and the states would be devastated. It would change could change the whole world over, overnight. But there's so many big things that are long-term commitments, like space programs, things of the sort, that long-term commitments that multicultural countries are, are involved in. They can't afford a war to disrupt those things. So I'm not a good politician. I get I cut in the, get cut in the paranoia of who's doing what or what, where. So I have a bit of a dark twist on it in my own thinking. So I have to always fight that to try and keep some clarity or some perspective. So I was going to avoid doing this, but it seems he's too interesting a character for how he's poised to not sit down and say, let's take a look, go at this. And I didn't really, other than getting the bio, I didn't really work this extensively. I just wanted to show timing against the bio, against where he is and what we're seeing. So we have at least the real facts to look at, the real transits to look at as we watch these things progress. Okay, so this is going to be it for today. Um, this is the like it's people are really it's not we're looking at designs we're we're looking at the music we're not and we're trying to imagine the dance the person's going to dance in their own way. Um, okay, next week we're going to deal with Carl Jung, and we're going to do the transits for uh, 1912. 1912 next four years 1912 uh, so so from 19 from the four years before 1912 and 1913 14 15 16 we'll do those eight years that's a whole nother era so it, it's planets are in different places than we're seeing now so it's be interesting to do it and um yeah we'll go over his chart from there and see what's going on um Yeah, it's centered, we're centering it around the time. Before that time, he was studying with Jung and he had a fight and he had a falling out and he stopped. He went on his own, broke away from Freud. Jung broke away from Freud. So that was a huge change. So we're, I want to look at that time and see what's happening in those times. So we'll get to that next week. Thanks. Okay. <laughs>